Namaste students. I hope you are all are safe and good. I welcome you for this academic year 2020-21. I, Usha M, science teacher, will be handling chemistry part. First, let us know what is chemistry. Chemistry is a branch of science which deals with the study of structure, function and properties of matter. Why chemistry is important in our life? Chemistry plays a central role in science. It is intertwined with other branches of science. Like we do have biochemistry, physical chemistry, analytical chemistry. It is also intertwined with geology, math. So it is aggregated of all subjects. It is linked to all other branches. It is important to everyday life. The drugs which is prepared from pharmaceutical companies, they do use chemicals to prepare a drug. It has a huge applications in industries like paper, cement, glass, pharmaceuticals, etc. Our body is also made up of chemicals. When we eat, when we sit, some chemical reactions will happen in our body. And it will end up into formation of more and more of chemicals. So basically all matter is made up of some kind of chemicals. In class 7th, you have studied fiber to fabric, acid base and salts, physical and chemical change, water, waste water story. You may think there was 18 chapters in science book. But here I have taken only 5. Why? Because all this you will study under chemistry. The other chapters will be segregated into physical concept as well as biological concept. And this is mainly chemistry stream. In class 8, you will be studying synthetic fibers in plastic, metals and non-metals, coal and petroleum, combustion and flame, chemical effects of electric current, Pollution of air and water. There is a link in the chapters also. Fiber to fabric in 7th standard. And it has continued as synthetic fibers in plastic. Metals and non-metals. You would have studied in your previous like lower classes. The introduction of metals and non-metals. You will be studying a much more ahead in this chapter. Coal and petroleum. All those carbon compounds you will be studying. Combustion and flame. Like different types of combustion, the structure of flame and the candle. All this you will be studying in this chapter. Chemical effect of electric current. So why a bulb glow when you just have a circuit which is different, it's all solution. So what happens? What magic happens? So all this you will be studying on this chapter. Pollution of air and water. Yes, our natural resources. The awareness has to be created. So you will be knowing what are the methods to just preserve these natural resources and how humans are polluting that and what are the measures. So all these concepts are very much important. Before going to any of the chapters, I want to introduce a basic concepts in chemistry. Like you should know what is an atom. An atom is the smallest particle of a chemical element which can exist. Whereas element, it's a basic substance that cannot be simplified like hydrogen, oxygen, silver, gold, all these are elements. What is a molecule now? It's a cluster of atoms. When I say H2, there are two atoms of hydrogen. When I say O2, there are two atoms of oxygen. So it's a molecule. What is a compound then? Compound, it's made up of two or more elements which is combined in a particular fixed ratio. When I say H2O, it is water. You can see there is two atoms of hydrogen, one atom of oxygen. Yes? So that is water. It is a compound. And it is much more, they do, uh, they do combine in a particular ratio. Coming to mixture. So mixtures, these are not chemically combined. They are just 
they are just mixed physically they won't form a bond so they do retain their identity these are mixtures so we go before starting to any the concept we have to know the elements so elements with the symbols with the atomic number the first element is hydrogen symbol is h atomic number is 1 the next one is helium symbol is he atomic number is 2 lithium li atomic number is 3 beryllium b atomic number 4 boron b atomic number 5 carbon c atomic number 6 nitrogen n atomic number 7 oxygen o atomic number 8 fluorine f atomic number 9 neon ne atomic number 10 sodium na atomic number 11 magnesium it is mg 12 aluminium al 13 silicon si 14 phosphorus p 15 sulfur it is s 16 chlorine it is cl 17 argon it is ar 18 potassium k 19 it is not p it is k and calcium it is ca atomic number 20 scandium sc atomic number 21 titanium ti 22 vanadium capital v 23 chromium cr 24 manganese mn 25 iron fe 26 cobalt co 27 nickel ni 28 copper it is cu 29 zinc it is zn 30 you should know what is atomic number so i said atomic number is from 1 to 30 what do you mean by that atomic number yes atomic number is nothing but it's a number of protons they do say it is number of electrons also because in an atom number of protons number of electrons will be same but there will be a reaction where an atom can lose an electron also they to become an ion so atomic number is nothing but it's only the number of protons what do you mean by mass number mass number it's a sum of protons and neutrons in an atom yes what is sub atomic particle we do have protons electrons and neutron protons and neutrons are present inside the nucleus of an atom whereas electrons will be rotating around the nucleus so these are sub atomic particles and always the atomic number will be writing as a subscript you can see it is designated as capital z and it is written below that is what a subscript and mass number it is denoted by capital a it is written in the superscript form and you have a big capital x that can be any element okay there is a notation how we write an atom with atomic number and mass number and there is a thing how to find out the number of neutrons yes i said mass number is a number of protons plus neutrons how to find the number of neutrons then there is a formula where you have to do mass number minus atomic number you can look at the board now carbon mass number is 12 atomic number is 6 when i do a minus z you get 1 minus 6 right you get 6 so these are number of neutrons so this is how you calculate the number of neutrons the next important concept is isotopes you can see a slide over there isotopes are of atoms of the same element that have different number of neutrons but same number of protons and electrons so in this number of neutrons will differ but number of protons and electrons will be same you can see the picture over there yes there's no neutron at all in the first protium there is one neutron in the second one deuterium in the third one you can see that n there are two neutrons the next is isobars 
the atoms that have same number of nucleons a different word you have heard now nucleons what do you mean by nucleons it's nothing but protons and neutrons so there are different elements so there are different elements they have different atomic number but they have the same mass number you can see the picture over there argon the mass number is 40 atomic number is 18 potassium 40 it is 19 calcium 40 and it is 20 so they have same mass number means number of protons and electrons will be same there is an assignment for you you can use this formula and find out the number of neutrons for the following elements which has been given yes hydrogen magnesium and carbon thank you and looking forward to have a good interaction in this year